Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Matt here with the Toaster Bros. And today we're gonna to be talking about this $800 full gaming setup. It is featuring a $400 PC we've done recently on the channel. And honestly, this is a really awesome setup for the money. It comes with two monitors for $800. That's pretty awesome. But before we talk about this setup, let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Team Group. Team Group delivers some of the best value for money PC parts out there. We love their Delta RGB memory coming in at speeds of up to 3,600 megahertz and capacities up to 64 gigabytes while not breaking the bank and having that beautiful RGB. They also have the Vulcan G SSD lineup with capacities up to one terabyte and competitive read write speeds around 500 megabytes per second. They are also hosting an online launch event starting on September 22nd where they will be showcasing their new creator brand and also giving away a $3,000 creator PC featuring an i9-10900K. Be sure to check the link in the description down below because you don't want to miss that. We use Team Group parts in a majority of our PC builds and so should you. Check the link in the description down below to learn more and special thanks again to Team Group for sponsoring today's video. All right, guys, so as you know, with our full setups, we normally use PCs that we've made a video on before, which we'll talk about a little bit in more detail in a minute, but we like to do these full setups, which feature the monitor, keyboard, mouse, desk mat, and the computer and a headset. So this is a gaming setup. We do also have streaming setups, which will leave some examples in the eyes in the top right corner, but uh, for a gaming setup, you can get dual monitors, be able to get up in game and have some pretty decent performance while doing so. And this probably does look similar to many of the streaming setups and technically you might be able to do like some light face cam streaming and maybe some light gaming but hey this thing has an upgrade path to an extent as well so if you wanted to get into streaming you totally could. So how about we go ahead and talk about this PC a little bit and what makes up this full setup. All right, guys, let's briefly talk about this PC. As we mentioned at the beginning of the video, if you want to see the full video, hit the eye in the top right corner. But this is a $400 PC featuring an AliExpress Xeon combo with an E5-1620V2 Xeon, and the graphics card is an R9-390. So for the performance for $400, you're getting a lot of power for being able to play pretty much any game, 1080p high settings without any issues. We did recommend in the video, if you wanted to save a little bit of money or sometimes maybe around the same price point, you could get like an RX 570 or 580 and get a more power efficient system but the r9 390 is a card we had on hand from a top gp roundup video we did recently and it's a pretty awesome card still despite its heat issues um, and inside this case the montec x1 with this kind of rgb fans it's an awesome value overall and it looks really nice it looks way better than most 400 pieces out there which could be like a pre-built upgrade uh, but overall this pc we're very impressed with and that's kind of why we decided to do a full setup around it so let me toss it over to jackson so we can talk about all this different stuff toss it to me toss it so to start off, we're gonna talk about the monitors because that's the biggest part of this. So these are the Scepter E248W monitors. They're 24 inch, they're flat panel, and they're 75 hertz, which is pretty awesome for budget monitors. I believe you can get these for between 80 and $90. So a really good deal. They have two HDMI, they have VGA, they even have sound, which is pretty cool. And honestly, for the size being 24 inch, which is what most competitive players look for, having matching monitors, they're VESA capable. It's honestly a no brainer to go with these. And in the keyboard department, we have the Red Dragon K552 with blue switches, which they are very clicky. So it is 10 keyless, so it's a little bit smaller, so it's not gonna take up a ton of room. It does have RGB to an extent. It does move and everything. You can also set it to static colors and such. So honestly, it's a pretty good keyboard for the price. And for about $20, you can get this Tilted Nation Deadshot Gaming Mouse, which has a DPI switch. It actually has a macro over here and then two other macros on the side, making it a very good FPS mouse. And for the mouse mat, we have an extended mouse mat and it is RGB for about 20 bucks. This is UTEC Smart. It had good reviews on Amazon. We decided to give it a try and honestly, it's looking pretty good and you, yep, you can actually change all of the functions and colors on here. It actually has a lot of different modes. And for headphones, we have the HS60 Pro. So these are pretty awesome because we don't have it on, but it does have a detachable mic. So technically this is your headset and your mic. You, this will be perfect for gaming. You could technically, like I said, use this for streaming because it has the mic built in. And the mic actually sounds pretty good from when we've tested it there, open back too, which is pretty cool. So if you're gaming and you want to be able to hear the background or if you're gaming with someone especially, this is nice to be able to hear them talking in the background so that you're not screaming at them. All right, guys, so we are now playing Doom Eternal for the first game, and we are on max settings, 1080p. We have this pulled up over here, which is the in-game FPS counter, and she's running. She's running. Look at over, over 60 FPS. We are running on max settings, so do keep that in mind. Uh, so you could get way better results if you aren't running on Ultra Nightmare, which is something we were using to test a upcoming video. But 
Uh, man, look at this, running around over 60 FPS, killing all these undead. How do you, how do you punch? Oh, beautiful. Low ammo. Exactly. Playing too much in Doom. <laughs> but hey guys, I mean, overall, I mean, we knew this PC was gonna perform very well, but we wanted to be able to showcase how it performs in this setup, and God, look at that, he we finally killed it. everybody. Max settings, though, fully capable. I, I, you know, I think that at this rate, this thing could maybe be capable of doing some, some light streaming, you know? I got some confidence in it now. All right, guys, now that we've tested Doom, let's try another game real quick, shall we? All right, guys, the next game we're gonna be testing is everyone's favorite, Fortnite. We are on pro settings, 1080p, so expect some really awesome results. We're gonna dive into a team. You know what, no, we're not doing Team Rumble. I feel like a man. We're gonna go into solos, and we're like, going to get some kills. I feel like Team Rumble ends up taking as long yes. to find someone as solos. Yes, so we're gonna do solos, and we're gonna actually get some kills. He's gonna hot drop. Yeah, I'm a hot drop, watch me, watch me do it. All right, guys, here we are in Fortnite. We're gonna go lazy late, because that feels like it's gonna be a hot drop, am I right? Uh, but hey, performance is really solid. Again, if you wanna see more detailed performance benchmarks of this PC, check out the video. Uh, but hey, look, it plays nice. We're gonna go ahead and drop and see if we get some kills. I have your feet and I have no idea where they're gonna be. Oh! Come here, buddy. Oh, uh, hello? Hello? This guy's a pro, apparently? So that team, or uh, that, uh, that actual game went pretty good. That was great, nice, good job. Hey, you know what? It can play Fortnite, though. Definitely will make you a better gamer, that's for sure. All right, let's try another game, shall we? All right, the last thing we're gonna test real quick is Wolfenstein Youngblood, just to show a little built-in benchmark that we didn't actually test with this PC before. Um, let's make sure the resolution's good. We're at 90, 20 by 10, on the Ultra preset. We could go all the way up to the maximum settings, but we're gonna be a little bit calm here and go on ultra settings. So let's go ahead and run that benchmark. But here you go on ultra settings 1080p. It looks like we're around 80 ish FPS. I mean, this is more than playable for a game like this. It looks like the GPU is the bottleneck, which is what we saw throughout all the other benchmarks we did. So definitely going with the better GPU with the CPU would work perfectly fine. You want to go new, something like 1660 Super would be a good option. But um, yeah, running through this benchmark, it's a super quick benchmark. Um, we're getting really good results. So I'm actually pretty impressed with this PC. And I think this setup for the money, it's actually pretty damn good. So as this wraps up here real quick, we have a average FPS of 85, minimum of 67, and a max of 112. I think that's pretty good, don't you think? Pretty swell. All right, guys, let's wrap this video up real quick. All right, guys, so I was actually more than impressed because we were able to run dual monitors at 1080p and play all the games that we wanted, even on things like ultra settings. And the beauty of our setups here is if you have a PC at home and maybe you wanna just copy all this stuff, you can. It's gonna be way less than the price point, so check the link in the description down below. They are affiliate links, and you could swap whatever PC we build on the channel for this PC and just make a different setup that works better for you and your budget. So always check our videos out if you want suggestions for different PCs to configure with our setups. That's kind of the cool thing about it. Um, but yeah, this one is really awesome. I really like this PC with the AliExpress combo, and I was glad to be able to use it again in another video and the scepter monitors are not too bad for the money so if you haven't already don't forget to check out our other two youtube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toasty bros don't forget to like comment and subscribe we'll see you guys in the next one goodbye bye bye. konnichiwa konnichiwa